This is Faisal from AFP. Uh, a lot of talk about baseball before the series. Uh, what's your take on the series and how you're going to counter it? No, we'll look to play our cricket. I'm not interested in looking at how the opposition is going to play and all of that. For us, it's important that we look into our cricket, uh, focus on what we need to do as a team, and then take it from there. Uh, uh, Rohit, uh, there are two players, uh, Ashwin, who is nearing his landmark, then other one is Siraj from the Gully Boy Cricketer to its main strike bowler for India. So how do you look to these two players? Yeah, I mean, they're important player for us. Siraj in the last uh, couple of years has come up through the ranks. Uh, you know, he's proved uh, himself in various conditions for us. Uh, performed really, really well. Um, and yeah, he's, he's taken his game to another level for sure. Uh, and Ashwin, obviously, we know his class. We know his quality. Uh, you know, he just, every time he plays the game for us, he uh, tends to uh, impress all of us by a notch every time he takes the field. So, you know, his class and quality, uh, we do appreciate that and, you know, how important of a player he is for us, uh, you know, uh, moving forward. Uh, and every time he's gotten an opportunity, uh, you know, he's made sure that, you know, he, uh, you know, puts uh, the team, uh, you know, ahead. Uh, and he's shown it in, uh, he's shown it for a number of years now. So, yeah, I hope uh, this series is no different for him. Uh, he comes out and does what he does the best. Uh, so, hope, hopefully, uh, you know, he can, he can do the job for us, how he's done it in the previous uh, tournaments. Uh, so, Vidant, uh, we are playing a uh, five-match test series at home after a while. So what are your thoughts on a series like this, a team like uh, England with the WTC, of course, it is there. And how much do you think the win from the last game in South Africa uh, has helped you uh, going into this test match a few days after the win in Cape Town? No, look, uh, the Cape Town win was good, uh, but it was in Cape Town. This is Hyderabad. Completely different uh, conditions, uh, but, you know, uh, the energy and... Uh, the atmosphere that is in the changing room at this point in time is pretty good and that is what happens when you win games uh, you know and the, ga the game in Cape Town gave us a lot of confidence uh, you know it was an it was a great game uh, short game uh, but we managed to come out on top which was good uh, the confidence we can take from that game uh, you know as I said if you win games uh, nothing is better than that uh, and gives you a lot of confidence moving forward and regarding I mean it's it's first time uh, not the first time for us I mean we've played five test match series before in England but it was four and then it got called off then we had to come and come back and play another one but yeah in India certainly it's the, it's for the first time we, we will be playing five test matches but we, which is pretty good you know uh, we Always wanted uh, to play, uh, you know, four or five test matches. Uh, now that ha now that it's there for us, you know, it, it's a challenge, uh, you know, to play good cricket, consistent cricket over the period of two months, which will be challenging, uh, and everyone's looking forward to that. I know it. Uh, you have a, you have good experience of playing in these conditions. What are the technical and mental adjustments one a batter has to make to succeed in these conditions? Uh, first thing is very clear that you need to be very clear in your mind. You need to have some sort of game plan uh, when you are playing in these conditions uh, and then back that game plan, whatever that is, whether it's to come and defend tightly, whether it is to come and play some shots, uh, sweep, sweep, reverse sweep, whatever that is, just be clear. Uh, don't be in two minds as to what you want to do. That is where you can get yourself into trouble. Um, and then understanding your own strengths, uh, you know, because all of us have grown up playing in these type of conditions. Uh, it, so it's just about handling that pressure of playing a test match, handling that pressure of quality spells from the opposition. That's, that's what it is. Uh, nothing changes because uh, we all play in Ranji Trophy and Dulip Trophy, Irani Trophy and all of that. But 
the pressure of test match is different uh, the quality of the bowling is different so that is that is the challenge part that you need to handle and then obviously we we don't get too much involved in personal uh, style of play of certain individuals they uh, we want to back certain style of play of certain individuals and that is what will give you success uh, you you stick to your own strength stick to your plan uh, and and then go out and do that fearlessly rohit rohit uh, have you had time to look at the pitch and what is your early assessment of the pitch looks good yeah rohit there has been some clarity on uh, kl rahul not keeping wicket in the right of the series rahul said it yesterday Uh, is it uh, extended run for uh, bharat or now jurel is also in the picture big I picture i mean it's, it's yeah he won't be keeping in this series yeah yeah obviously those are the two keepers in the squad right you know I, I, my question was if bharat is going to get an extended run or you know jurel is also in the big picture no no we'll see we'll assess the performance you know uh, Uh, we are obviously looking at the bigger picture we want to give as many games as possible to the individual but we'll see we'll assess uh, after every game what happens and what is right for the team whatever is right for the team will do the necessary things um rohit uh, as a youngster while you were coming through trying to play cricket did you uh, think there be so much debate about the health of test cricket as there is right now talking about 20 years uh, where when i started playing under 19 cricket that is when i was that is when i used to watch a lot of test match cricket uh, even before then as well uh, 20 25 years ago so yeah obviously things change uh, certain uh, formats have taken over uh, but i i still feel that we, you know it's our duty everyone's responsibility to make sure that test cricket is test cricket stays alive and stays in the best shape uh, you know because at the end of the day you this is the format that challenges you and you as cricketers as sportsmen you want to be challenged uh, every time that you play uh, so uh, i have spoken spoken about test cricket many a times now in the past like how important it is uh, what needs to be done uh, unfortunately i'm not in the administration so i don't know what i can do but i mean as far as our team is concerned we would like to go out there and play our best test cricket uh, talk about test cricket being the most important cricket all of that we can do obviously for the uh, you know generation that's coming up for them to know that this is the cricket that you want to play uh, and want to excel as well uh, so that's my take on it yeah uh, rohit not asking for a name but if you are if you are to pick between let's say aksar and kuldeep what are the factors that you would weigh in before making the final call um yeah look lot of factors uh, to be honest uh, kuldeep gives you a certain uh you know x factor uh with his bowling like you've seen how well he's been bowling off late uh, you know especially uh, the wicket if it has bounce or if it doesn't have bounce kuldeep still becomes quite uh, you know quite a factor in those types of conditions as well because he's got super variations uh, alongside him uh, and obviously a very matured bowler now from what he was few years back uh, is not played a lot of test cricket in india uh, because of ashwin and jadeja clearly uh, you know but that is what happens like you know we've seen it in the past as well uh, with with our middle order in the past like lot of us got an opportunity pretty late but that's that's the reality of it you can't hide away from it but kuldeep being the bowler that he is now from what he was couple of years back he is much more improved and is a very tempting option uh, without a doubt uh, but at the same time aksar you know with his all round ability uh, giving us that batting depth uh, the consistency that he's shown uh, playing in these conditions in test cricket also is an important factor for us but uh, like you said clearly it was 
it was a bit of headache to decide who it is going to be for us. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is, but it was a challenge for us to make that decision uh, who it was. But yeah, like we know, you know, we've got quality around our spin bowling department, which is a good sign, uh, you know, when you have quality around your team, when there's a headache to make your playing 11, that's a good sign. Right, we, we know your record here in India, haven't lost a series uh, since 2012, you barely ever lose a match. Has, over that period, do you feel India feels unbeatable uh, at home? Do you, do you feel like it's not possible for someone to come here and, and do what England did in 2012? No, 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 not at all. I mean, at, uh, at the end of the day, it's a sport. Uh, there is a possibility that you can lose as well because that's what happens in, the, in, in any sport. You win, you lose. But by no means, uh, whatever record we have in the past decade or so gives us the guarantee that we're going to come out here on top as well and win the series. Uh, we still have to play our best cricket, good cricket, uh, that we know that uh, we play in you know, these conditions. England, obviously, is a very good team. Uh, you know, they play their test cricket really well. Um, and obviously, the last team to beat us uh, uh, here in our conditions was England. So, uh, certainly, obviously, like we're talking about a decade ago, different team members uh, to then to now. But still, the quality in the team is there uh, as far as England is concerned. For us, it will be important that we stick to our strength, uh, you know, and we do the things that we know how to do. And then obviously the things that we're looking for in this series will be taken care of if we keep doing the right things. Uh, but yeah, we are definitely, I wouldn't say we are not beatable. Definitely we are, uh, which is, that is what, that is how we want to be. Uh, we want to think that, you know, if we uh, don't step up or if we don't show up well, we are going to find ourselves in trouble. Uh, so we don't want to be, you know, doing that. So we want to try and do uh, whatever is possible, whatever is needed in that particular session or on that particular day, we have to do it. Rohit, uh, the withdrawal of uh, Virat Kohli two days ago, did it alter your plan going into the series and were you tempted to go in for a senior or somebody with more experience as a replacement because we go to read from the newspapers that Rajat Patidar has been included in the squad. So were you tempted to go for somebody with more experience especially when it is against England? Yeah, I mean look, uh, you, you, you could have thought that. Uh, we did actually think about it but you know, all these younger players, when are they going to get their opportunity? Uh, that's that's something that we thought or thought as well. Uh, leaving out an experienced player or not considering not considering them is is very hard uh, because of the amount of runs they've scored, uh, the kind of experience they've had, the amount of games that they have won for us. It's very hard to ignore all of that. Uh, but you know, you you sometimes got to bring certain players into your setup. Uh, as well, and you got to give them, you know, your favorable conditions. You don't want to expose them or bring them uh, on, on foreign tours where they've not played before. Uh, so I think that's the thought behind all of that. Like we, it's important that we try and get some of these youngsters in whenever there is an opportunity. Uh, again, I'm not saying by no means the doors are closed for anyone. Uh, you know. As long as, you know, they stay fit, they, they keep scoring runs, anyone will be welcomed back uh, uh, into, the, into the setup. So, uh, but yeah, having said that, I think it's important to also look at some of the other players as well at the same time. We don't want to end up uh, in a place where we've got, you know, out of 11 guys, 7 or 8 guys who've barely played. 20, 25 test matches between them. We don't want to be in that situation. Uh, so it's important that whenever you have the opportunity, give give them some game time. Rohit, a, a young member of the England squad, Shoaib Bashir, hasn't been able to enter in, uh, India because he hasn't got a visa. Do you have any thoughts on that situation? Any words for him? And do you hope that it's resolved soon and he's able to get into the country? 
I mean, I, I feel for him. Honestly, he, he is probably coming on, for the first time with the England setup. Uh, not easy for anyone. If there could be one of our guys who wanted to come to England and be, has been denied or not available to get the visa. Unfortunately, I don't sit in the visa office to give you more details on that. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I hope we can make it make it here quickly and enjoy uh, enjoy our country, play some cricket as well. Hi, Rohit. With the, how do you assess the England bowling with Anderson and Leach only being the two players playing in India? Others being the newcomers kind of things. How do you assess their bowling? What kind of challenges do you foresee? Um, yeah, I mean, look, uh, Mark Wood has, I don't think he's played a test match, but he's played a lot of cricket in India uh, with IPL and ODI crickets, cricket and all of that. Um, but yeah, uh, Anderson and Leach being the two guys who's, who've played test cricket here, um, are the only two who have played test matches. But see, again, uh, it's, it's you know, the other guys, uh, they've got few, few spinners in their squad as well this time around. Uh, and um, you can't you can't just overlook anything uh, when it comes to their bowling. Uh, of course, you know, we've got a uh, few new guys as well in our squad. Uh, so it will be, it'll be a great contest between their bowling and our batting, and at times our bowling and their batting. Uh, so it's going to be a good series, uh, you know, too much, not to look too much into what kind of compositions uh, they have, what kind of bowling combination they will play with. Uh, I really don't want to look too much into that. Like I said, uh, I'm somebody who looks into what possibly we can do, uh, whatever combination they play with. Uh, and what are the challenges that we face ahead as a team, that is where my focus will be on.